Thank you very much. It is an honour for me personally to be here, but it is also an honour to bring the support of Women for Independence to the campaign against austerity. But we know the harsh reality is that austerity hits women hardest. In the last five years, 74% of the cuts from tax and benefit changes have taken money out of women's pockets. And 60% of any new jobs that there might be that women take are low paid jobs. But austerity isn't just about welfare cuts and tax changes. It's also about zero hour contracts, a minimum wage so low it is risable, cuts in employment and a tax on trade unions. Austerity is a comprehensive systematic attack on the rights of working women, men, women and children across this country and it is time that we stood together against that ideology. Austerity in human terms is also this. It is the desperate struggle to make ends meet. It is lying awake at night worrying even before the kids start their school holidays, how you're going to send them back to school with clothes. It is worrying about bills to be paid. It is worrying about the holiday that you can't take your children on. It is feeling that somehow you're alone, it's your fault, and you should be ashamed of yourself. We are here today to say you are not alone. Be not ashamed. It is not your fault, it is the fault of an ideology of a Tory government that chooses to make the rich richer and the rest of us poorer. <laughs> Austerity isn't happening because of what you've done or I've done or anyone in this square. Austerity is a set of political choices. It doesn't land on us from heaven. It is an ideological driven idea that says that the rich will get richer and the rest of us will pay. Austerity is about political choices and we are told there is no alternative. We're told it's the fault of the work shy, of the welfare scrounger, of the immigrant. We're told to turn against each other. Women take men's jobs. Young people don't try hard enough. The people who come seeking shelter to make their home in our land are somehow here to undermine and destroy our way of life. We need to say loud, clear and long, you are lying. Austerity Westminster is your fault. We will not let them turn us against each other because there is an alternative in this rich country. It's an alternative that challenges the power of the elite, that challenges the ever-growing gap between rich and poor. For decades, this square has seen working people come together for a right to fight for basic decency, against rate rises and callous landlords, against rising unemployment and poverty, and for human rights and justice here and in other countries. We stand today on their shoulders, the shoulders of the very many women and men who have argued and struggled and fought for what we now have and what the Westminster Tory government is determined to take from us. Poverty is not reality television. Poverty is the reality of hundreds of thousands of our brothers and sisters, those in work and those without, and we will stand with them. In the past three years, we have rediscovered hope in our country. We've rediscovered our energy, our passion, our determination to win a better way. We have rediscovered our power, and it is a greater power than those who try to abuse us and our neighbours. It is a power we must now use 
to fight for, argue for and end austerity because we stand together. Thank you.